Hey guys, it's Starburst VR, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys Yuzi's camera mod and how to get it. Okay, so this is what the mod looks like, and as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different buttons. Okay, so we're just going to start with the first button, first person. Obviously, first person is just a regular thing. Wow, I'm lagging. Uh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I was just saying, first person is pretty much just like your regular Gorilla Tag gameplay, and yeah. Third person is pretty much just as if you're playing like regular Gorilla Tag Steam without any camera mod. Now, the thing that I like about third person is that if you go to MISC and you press the position to front, then if you put it on third person, you can see that the camera's in front of me. And this is how they recorded the one trailer for Gorilla Tag. Follow player just follows me. That's all it does, pretty much. It's pretty self-explanatory. Follows the player. Also, I'm sorry if I'm lagging, guys. Like, I don't know what's going on right now. If you press MISC and you put the speed up, for a follow player, the follow player follows you even better, and it's faster. Near clip, it just means that the closer you get from the camera, the more you clip out, and yeah, it's pretty dumb. Smoothing right here, this just pretty much makes it smoother for when you put it in first person. Now, I don't know if it's going to be smooth because I'm lagging, but um, yeah, that's pretty much what it does. And then FOV, FOV, if you put it up, it moves your camera back, so if it goes like to like first person, you can see that it looks like really goofy. And then also, if you put your FOV down, you can see that it zooms in, and uh, this looks really dumb. Now, controls opens URL. That pretty much gives you the link to Yizzy's camera mod. You don't want to press that. That's very unuseful. But um, if you go to MISC again, and then you go over here, and you, you see in the bottom left it says green screen disabled. Enable that, and then you will be able to see that inside of City, there is a green screen. Now, the green screen is behind me, but if I were to turn around in the game, you guys can see that there's nothing there. For me, I can see it, but it's very lagged out, and whenever I'm recording on my PC, you can't see it at all. I only see it through the camera mod. So, um, yeah, let me just show you what it does. Okay, so you see these buttons over here? So let's say that I was like, like a green gorilla. Obviously, I wouldn't want to use the green screen because then that would keep me out, so I would change it to either red or blue green screen. See, like red green screen and then blue green screen over here. Now, let's say that I was a blue or a red monkey. Obviously, I would keep it as a green green screen so that I can key it out better. Now, I'm just a pink gorilla, so I could really do whatever I want, but I had a picture of me. I could have the thumbnail. Okay, that's pretty much it for the showcase. Now, let me show you guys how to get Yuzi's camera model. Okay guys, this is the tutorial. Obviously, to get Yuzi camera mod, you're gonna need Monkey Mod Manager. So if you don't already have that, I'm gonna put it in the link in the description. Just gonna download it. And then once it's already downloaded, um, you're just gonna open it. Press on utilities and then keep this open. You're gonna open up whatever web browser that you use. You can use Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome. I'm just gonna use Opera GX because it's more convenient for me. And then you're gonna search up Yuzi camera mod. No, I spelled that wrong, but it's fine. Um, click on the first one. Okay, then you're gonna go down here. Underneath releases, click 1.0.8. Okay, and then obviously it says latest, so you're gonna download this. Download that right there. Click save. Then it might tell you that it's a virus. It's fine, just keep it. Okay, then you're gonna keep this open. Minimize this tab. Open up your bet the next folder. Go to your plugins. And then you're gonna open this back up. Make the screen a little bit smaller. And then drag this onto your screen right here. Okay, then you can close that out. Alright, now that you have your plugins and use this camera mod right here, you're just gonna drag this and drop it. As you can see, I already have it right here. So I'm not gonna do that. Well, I did it by accident. <laughs> okay, and then once you're done with all that, you can just delete this. Make sure you have use this camera mod inside of here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you can load up your game and check if you have it. Okay, one more thing before you open up your game, I forgot to say, but you need to click install slash update so that it installs into your game. And yeah, you can just pretty much open up Gorilla Tech from there. You don't have to put on your headset to see if your camera mod is there. Okay, now that we're in our game, we can press the tab button on our keyboard. Press it a few times because sometimes it doesn't work all the time. And then you can move around with your keyboard and mouse. And yeah, you can see that my gorilla's right there. Don't have my headset plugged in, so obviously it's just a still gorilla. But I can move around with my camera. See, I can go out here. And this is just a way to check if your camera mod was installed correctly. 
And yeah, hope you guys liked the tutorial. That's Starburst VR, and I'm out.